the last 100 days we've had 2,700 mils of rain. So that definitely provides uh, some unique challenges and something that I haven't experienced much before moving to the tropics. I think we've definitely made a fair bit of ground in the time that I've been here. I just implementing just stuff to simplify our maintenance. Probably one of the added challenges here I know down south you see the forecast in Sydney and you're looking at how much rain's coming and that might vary a little. Whereas here some days it can say 20 mil or light showers and you get a storm out of the blue and it gives you a 50 or 100 or 200 mil. So that is a real challenge for trying to schedule for applications. Working up here is just incredibly difficult at this time of year. We've had 2,700 mils in the last 100 days. So trying to basically just do our regular maintenance is very, very difficult. And as you can see, like this fairway is quite long at the moment. We haven't been out here for probably eight days now. Um, so it's things like that that really hinder our maintenance. A crow's foot is probably our number one challenge up here in terms of weeds, particularly because you have basically full year of germination period. So even in the depths of winter, and I say winter, it's still 26, 27 in the day in June and July. Uh, look, we've still got weed, we've still got crows for popping up. So it's an endless cycle in that regard. Once the rain stops and we can actually get out there and do some stuff, that's, that's a huge part of our operation is out there spot spraying a lot of crow's foot. So if we don't have to spend you know, a morning out there spotting everything, that's a big saving for us. We well, expect you all, obviously, is a fairly new product uh, compared to some of the others that have been around for a while. Um, the longevity of Spectacle was a big plus, obviously, for us to give that a try. Um, with a full year of germination of weeds, um, in particular crow's foot, uh, we figured that'd be worth a shot. So, before we did the Spectacle application, we had quite a lot of crow's foot and other weeds in the range. We went out with three applications about 10 days apart, two of MSMA and one of metric to clean up all the existing um, weeds. So the range was fairly clean uh, for the most part, aside from a little bit of sedge floating around. Probably a week after we'd finished those applications, we put the spectacle down. The rainfall forecast, basically we've been dry all the way through for six months up until that point. Had hardly had probably 50 mils of rain in that time, which is very minimal for us. So two and a half days after putting the spectacle down, we copped 200 mils overnight. So I think the forecast had changed rapidly over those couple of days. And then that night we came in, there was 200 in the gauge in the morning. But then watching it progress and seeing how basically there's nothing germinated in that area is, that's, I guess probably that's the most amazing part for me. Small team, you know, seven, it, that's probably a big mental challenge for me because I know what this place could look like with a team of 10 or 12, you know, with seven and then you've always got something going on. So it's, uh, you know, sometimes it can be hard to just get around, particularly this time of year and even just cut everything. You know, that's, that, that makes it a challenge in itself. One of the things I'm doing here is just trying to make it more user friendly, more maintenance friendly for us. Because with a team of seven, you know, if we can get to the point where things are the way they should be and working the way they should, then you can focus on those little things. Um, whereas I guess the first 18 months I've been here, I've found is just trying to put a lot of those systems in place. And some things have definitely drawn a lot of labor, but that's something that once we do that, we won't have to deal with that again. So just trying to think of the future and not just band-aid stuff, but do it properly. Tim needed to implement this post-emergent control program before commencing the pre-emergent spectacle trial. This required a delay till early December. These rainfall charts indicate the spectacle application was applied just prior to a very significant 2018-19 wet season. Ideally, the application of spectacle in tropical environments with year-round crow's foot germination pressure would be made as part of a six-monthly program. Best practice is to time your first application prior to the start of the wet season. This is when soil and climatic conditions are most favourable. A follow-up application should be made in six months.